Hello friends, welcome to Tech Talks by Thabar Brother Banaji. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a dialer app using the latest version of Sketchware. There is another video on YouTube to make a dialer app using Sketchware, but it is not according to the latest version. Currently, the date is 24th March 2018. So let us start making the app. First, open Sketchware. Don't mind this taking a little time to load. <laughs> okay, I'm fast forwarding it. So now you need to click on this explore. Uh, create new project. Uh, let's give any name. TikToks. Now in the advanced settings, you can change the package name. Uh, package name all. It's not like this. Uh, <laughs> so guys, I have written the package name and project name. The package name should be in small letters and sh should be separated by dots. At least one dot is necessary and the project name should have no space but you can add uh, capital letters as well and now let us change the icon tap here uh, you can choose any icon so set one image from the gallery as the icon now let's create the app Okay, now first you need to put on edit text drag it over here then you need to edit its properties layout with match parent layout tight wrap contact ok and the text size you can increase it at some 20 sp ok Make sure it is enabled. Now it's looking okay. Once I want now let's change the text over here. Hint nothing. Okay. Now you need to take some linear edge about five. Now you need to change some properties. And change the gravity, center horizon, center vertical. Okay. Now this applies to all of them, all of the linear edges. I'm gonna fast forward it. So you have loaded all the linear edges. Now you need to load some buttons. Uh, here. Now make sure that you load the buttons serially, otherwise you are going to have some problem when you execute the app, like uh, when you press the button for one, it may give text as two or three, like that. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Because of the gravity, the buttons are saying towards the center and not moving towards the left or right, okay? Uh, here. Uh, 
and over here only one button okay now you need to edit some properties of the buttons last one we need to change the layout width you need to match parent to select and your text will be call see a double l call okay now text size um 18 sp okay text style sorry text style um bold background color green text color okay now okay so let's say the text a little more okay. now it's looking better now let's edit the buttons you can fast forward the video like the procedure is same for the buttons Okay, text size 16SP and text 1. Okay, oh my gosh, uh, text style and bold. Select, uh, like background color, ear black, and text color you can sell and this one okay and looking okay now same it to do for all the buttons now only for the asterisk and hashtags uh change the text size okay um for asterisk i uh, set the text size to 20 sp and for the hashtag or ha uh, i set the text to 18 SP okay now let's go to the next step uh, we need to do a little bit of programming don't worry it's very easy okay now first click on this button one okay uh, now you need to add one block Here yeah, you need to take this block text view set text. Uh, it's here in the view list. Put it here. Now you need to take another one text view get text. And clicking on the operator, you can get one call join uh, white thing and white thing. Okay. Now take this one. You need to put it over here. Uh, here over here the text a text select okay and here I need to edit the text and over here um tab one okay so, um, pull this over here okay now it should look like this now copy one this one and click on okay click on this and think uh, copy it will be that copied now click on button to paste it just change this string number sorry now same process applies to all the buttons just change this string to then three four five six like that okay let's fast forward the video Okay now, okay now for the number 10, remember to put asterisk, uh, for number 12, remember to put the hashtag or hound. Okay now number 13 is being, uh, going to be a little different from the other buttons. Okay let's go to number 13, okay. Now here you need to put a different type of operator called component operator. Now by default you are not going to see the block which you're going to add don't worry you can easily add the block okay in select intent sorry yeah, intent I set action add okay now after doing that you're going to add a list a lot of other 
uh, intent blocks now you need to select a specific block from that okay you need to select this intent set action over here select set action and over here select action call okay now you need to uh, select one more thing intent set data what is your set action and over here we need an operator the one we used earlier the join and end operator and view get text put it over here and edit text and sorry and over here select tel and colon okay now let's pull it and put it here and one more block start activity and selection okay now it should be perfectly all right let's check once okay okay let's start install install okay done now let's see your tiktok data let's see whether it's important numbers or not one 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 hand okay perfect now let's try the calling feature okay now let's call see perfectly okay i hope you like this video please like share comment and subscribe to my channel for more interesting technological videos and some other type of videos in tech talks extracurriculars a playlist by tech talks i now but goodbye for now keep watching for new videos